Uh, good afternoon, uh, Finance and Governance Committee Chair, Committee members, City staff, members of the public. My name is Alex Hamilton, Fire Chief. Uh, today, we uh, I have a presentation on the appropriation of wildland fire reimbursement revenues for the committee to consider. City Council. dollars of general fund revenue from wildland fire reimbursement and then appropriate 370 to expand our improve and expand our training for mutual aid response um, for wildland incidents and so this is a, a essentially a bit of a, a an accounting cleanup originally in our budget we estimated that we would have about a million dollars um, in revenue from wildland deployments uh, obviously it was another brutal wildland season this year um, and so our our estimate was ended up being a little bit low so it's it's actually closer to 1.7 million dollars in revenues so uh we're all uh very still very familiar and and it's um uh all too close in our recent history but the thomas fire which started uh just this week uh, or the week that I'm recording this video, at least uh, back in 2017. At the time, it was the largest fire in California history. Um, it's now ranked as uh, number 11, uh, believe it or not. And so 11 of the top 20 biggest fires in California history um, have started since the Thomas fire, uh, which is which is unbelievable. Um, so just for a little bit more background, and so whenever we uh, deployed resources under um, uh, to to outside jurisdictions, that's done under the agreement known as the California Fire Assistance uh, Agreement or CFAA agreement. And so it basically covers all the different entities and jurisdictions that could be deployed uh, as a part of a mutual aid response. And so every year we update our um, our salaries and our overhead costs um, to the Cal uh, the California Office of Emergency Services, um, and that's how we get reimbursed for, as you can see there, personnel, engine hours, and travel expenses. And, and additionally, there's an administrative fee uh, this year that was set at 17.1 percent. So we have uh, a number of minimum minimum training requirements that we are. Uh, um, are working towards uh, fulfilling uh, here within the county um, some of these uh, certifications you see like engine boss um, we we have allowed our captains to go out and they've sort of been grandfathered as engine bosses if you will uh, all the all the agencies in the county uh, function this way um, the Oxnard fire department is in the process of, of really uh, lifting our game in terms of professional development and so what we're actually want to do is ensure that our personnel uh, are truly qualified for that engine boss uh, certification. And so that means taking a number of classes, putting our personnel through a number of classes. So currently only eight of our 32 company officers or captains uh, are qualified in that position, meaning they've taken those classes. Um, so it's three classes that takes a total of 11 days to complete. Um, and in, in addition, we only have three of our five battalion chiefs that are currently qualified as strike team leaders. And so they're the two areas that we want to focus our uh, professional development for wildland um, deployments and, and where we want to bring um, a high level of qualification to our personnel. And so um, basically the, the CFA, CFAA reimbursements um, allow uh, the city and the fire department to receive reimbursement for for overtime and benefits uh, paid to our personnel and as well as um, giving us the ability to, to restore our training budget um, and, and then uh, purchase any supplies and training certifications that we need uh, for our personnel um, and so as you can see here um, this is this is what we anticipate our um, reimbursements looking like for the for the 21 22 fiscal year so as you can see there nearly 1.4 million dollars in personnel costs and so that's money that the city has spent sending personnel out that we're now going to get reimbursed um, and that line item there the forty seven thousand dollars in travel costs um, we we spend that money so that money had to come out of the fire department's training budget and so by 
um, allowing us this uh, budget uh, appropriation, we can put that money back into the training budget and continue to train our personnel. Um, and then you can see there the at the bottom line there, the administrative fee of $257,000. Um, that's what we'd like to use for our professional development and, and getting our, our folks to a higher qualification. And so with that, if there are any questions, I am now open to questions. Thank you so much for your time today.